Pierre Poilievre's comments about CTV's editing of his remarks and his broader criticism of the media strike at the core of concerns about fairness, transparency, and the media's role in shaping political narratives. When the media is perceived as biased, it underscores the importance of holding them accountable. Poilievre's claim that CTV altered his words to fit a liberal narrative reinforces a long-standing conservative sentiment that mainstream outlets misrepresent their viewpoints in alignment with progressive ideologies. And that's why we have a common sense plan to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Axe the tax. This will be a carbon tax referendum, a carbon tax election. And I know that the media has worked hard to try and avoid me saying the words carbon tax, as we saw in the extremely dishonest and fraudulent report from Bell Media Controlled CTV, uh, who is uh, a company that is whose, whose bonds have been downgraded to near junk status as its overpaid CEO empties the books to pay his wealthy friends an unacceptably and unrealistically high dividend. But I am the reason why he and his other cronies of that company are going after me is because he knows that I'm standing up for the people against the crony capitalists and inside the top. Public interest in this controversy springs from a shared demand for ethical, honest journalism. Poilievre's characterization of the report as dishonest and fragmented resonates with those already convinced that the media is skewed against him. By drawing attention to alleged media manipulation, Poilivra amplifies the conservative critique that the media serves as an unreliable tool of the political elite, aligned with crony capitalists, rather than the everyday citizen. His remarks in defense of the people against the media and corporate interests are a clear nod to populist conservative values, positioning him as a defender of ordinary citizens against the entrenched power of the political and media elite. This message taps into a broader conservative belief that the political and corporate elite act against the interests of regular people. Poilivre is capitalizing on the public's desire to speak truth to power, framing himself as a protector against both government overreach and media manipulation. Distrust in the media is a common psychological response, especially among those who feel their views are not being fairly represented. Poilievre's accusation that CTV produced dishonest coverage only strengthens this distrust, reinforcing the belief that conservative ideas are routinely distorted by the press. This dynamic deepens the connection between Poilievre and his supporters, who feel their concerns about media bias are finally being acknowledged and addressed.